Hello everyone, this is Anil. Welcome to Education Tat. This is a series of flowable uh, BPM and we are covering some of the advanced topic today. So if you have not watched earlier sessions in this series, I would request you go and check out that and give us your feedback. But let's uh, stick together and let's see what we have in the advanced topic and some of the most practical scenarios that we are going to cover today. So in here, let's open flowable engage. What we are going to cover is some some of the advanced topic as we mentioned in the introduction and uh, let's create a work item or the case loan case let's give all and reject scenario i'm just giving a name which which should be easier for me to remember I've created a case and within this case, uh, I can open this get application detail and can provide uh, the necessary information very similar to what we have used last time. And uh, we can use USA, we can provide this and then complete. So what we are doing, I'm not going to cover this in detail what we are doing here, but rather I want to show you the feature that is uh, very much required and uh, very practical as well. If you need to know what we are doing in details, how the process and the loan cases are uh, covered, better you check the last video in this series and you should be able to understand all these things in detail. Now from the review application, if we just reject it, let's see how it goes. So let's go to the history. Let's uh, not from here. Let's go to the loan application history and let's see uh, how the doc diagram looks like. So it is an escalated. Uh, if we go to documents, loan application, history. So this is an escalated. And if from escalated review, if we say, uh, let's suppose reject, uh, sorry, accept. Let's see where it is pending. Uh, so this is with assign manager. Uh, go to loan application. Let's have a look of the diagram. So for example, uh, during this flow, if, if you see that it should not be a accept case, it should be a rejected case, what all uh, you could do. So that is something we are discussing here. But before that, if you want to look at uh, what are uh, all are the values uh, in this overall process. So that is something Flowable provides you all necessary uh, steps to be able to record that. So how you can do this, you can go to the particular task, right? Let me just zoom it out. You can go to the task. And from this task, you can actually go and check the details of this particular. So this is more like uh, the user view. You should not be able to see much uh, detail on the variables that we were trying to see from here. but. For that, what you can do is you can go to the control and we have not touched about the control, but control you can assume like if you have worked on Oracle BPM, it's more like uh, your enterprise manager. And similarly, it provides you the relevant functionality to control the flow from admin perspective. Uh, so in here, if you go to process and process, we can see that there are uh, uh, the process. Uh, these, these two are the uh, deployments. But if we talk about the instances, we can see that this instance was up and running today. So uh, in here, what you can do is you can check the values of the variables. So the variables uh, that we defined in the first uh, form and then we modified over different workflow steps. So the same thing uh, you can check in here. You can see what is the details outcome here and what is the default path. Uh, what all variables uh, we have here for example if you want to do something with any of these variable or if you want to re-index on some of the information yes that is pretty much possible and that is the agenda uh, what we are going to demonstrate in here so you can add added variable or you can uh, even uh, add variable or view or add it but for that what you need to do is you need to come to this section you need to go to variable and because this is the in-flight instance and this is currently pending in here. So if I want to change this 35,000 to 30,000, uh, let's suppose, and uh, 
I want to uh, change the each value from 60 to let's say uh, 55 so I can select this row I can view or edit it some uh, buggy behavior of the browser let's change this and update so this is how you can update the value of the variable at the runtime but what about if I need this uh, assign manager to be indexed or to be like uh, sent back to a previous uh, screen so for that what are the steps so if we select this get application detail and if i just click on this change process state this will ask change current activity if i say confirm so let's see how this is reflecting now so as you can see that this has moved its state to get application detail and this is one of the fantastic feature uh, that i liked about flowable um, this is in general not available uh, in other vpns uh, or the vpns that at least i worked upon so far so let's go and check get application details and you will realize whatever values you have updated from the admin view these are reflected very well here so this is a chance where you can uh, correct some of the mistakes in your workflow and this is very advanced and very uh, intelligent uh, solution I, I should say that they have implemented so if you liked it and if you can correlate that uh, yes this can be useful in uh, many of the scenarios where you have been experiencing the same so go and check this out uh, i would say uh, so for today's discussion we will limit it here we will just uh, request you to go and do it yourself because that is how you will be more confident and if you have not subscribed to this channel yet please go like subscribe and show some uh, love to this channel and that is how we will grow as a community thank you everyone thank you bye